A very good afternoon and welcome to the TFILO eTalk. Today, we are very privileged to have Dr. Su Yaohua with us to speak about remapping the concept of artists in residence initiatives. Before we begin the eTalk, for those who are new to TFILO, this is a series of saloon talk revolving the discussions of philosophies and humanities, a meaningful arts and cultural exchange platform between Taiwan and Malaysia, organized by the Taipei Economic and Cultural Office in Malaysia, produced by Inso Arts and Culture Foundation. I'm Ijen, creative producer and co-founder of Tokata Studio. I will be your guest host for today. So a gentle reminder, there will be Q&A session at the end, so if you have any questions, please feel free to post it on Facebook chat and we will try our best to answer them. Next, I would like to take this opportunity to briefly introduce Dr. Su Yaohua. As a cultural administrator, social curator, educator and intercultural communicator, Dr. Su Yaohua was the senior officer to the cultural minister and she managed the artists in residence programs for Taipei City Government at the Taipei Artist Village, Grass Mountain Artist Village, and Treasure Hill Artist Village. In addition, Dr. Su has experience directing the Corporate Art Foundation and established one of the pioneering arts in public space program, Very Fun Park. Currently, Dr. Su is the Assistant Professor of Department of Arts at National Taiwan Normal University, who is also Chief Curator at the University's Art Museum. So without further ado, I will pass this floor or this screen to Dr. Su. Let's put our hands together to welcome Dr. Su. Okay. Uh, thank you, Yijian, for your nicely uh, introduction. And uh, it's really my privilege to have this opportunity to um, to be part of uh, this wonderful salon. Uh, and um, I would also like to take this opportunity to uh, kind of uh, thank you for uh, the uh, uh, Taipei Economic and Cultural Office in Malaysia. Uh, especially for their cultural divisions chief Chen Guanfu, uh, who who's also uh, a uh, very old friend of mine, uh, to invite me to uh, to this event. And um, well, actually, before uh, before before we we start, we kind of um, hide down the so called backstage and uh, have a small chat with Yi Jen and greeting with each other you know um, with this screen and and that's also i guess that would, that would be also the first thing i would like to um also send my best regard to all the participants today i hope that you are safe and sound and healthy and happy at this moment uh and uh i I understand that uh, in Malaysia, you are also kind of uh, experiencing the lockdown and especially your lock lockdown experience is um, kind of uh, longer than Taipei, uh, than Taiwan. And, but uh, I, I know it's kind of very luxury or impossible to have personal interaction at this moment. And I was, I would, especially, I would like to say that I envy all the all the participants that uh, that uh, the the tea salon has shown in their uh, advertisement that you know all the speakers that they can uh, be in a physical space and kind kind of encountering all the participants um, happily. But any, anyway, I would uh, I would like to remember this very very special moment although we don't have um direct uh contact although we are not physically in a same space but i i believe i believe that um that that we will find a way we will find a way to kind of meet with each other and that's also uh 
a very big challenge for me to speak on this uh, specific uh, title of um, uh, artist in residency uh, uh, center because uh, um, I have actually uh, kind of lived, lived the position for um, 10 years. And from the Artists in Residence Initiative, I, I, I actually moved to a more institutionalized place. So um, I am, uh, I would, I would say that's kind of have a very mixed feeling uh, when, when, uh, when Director Chen Guanfu invite me to speak on this specific project. I, I, I do feel challenged that uh, not, it, you know, it's, it's kind of 10 years ago, uh, should I share, uh, you know, the, the history of the artist in residency for you? I don't think so, because um, uh, when we talk about artist in residency, that's actually a, a, a place that's more vivid than art museum. Uh, that's a place that holds a lot of um, live art. You know, that's something is always happening and always evolving. So uh, then I asked myself, how, how should I respond to the inquiry? So that's, that's what I try to kind of reframe. And also thank you for the opportunity. I, I try to kind of research, reframe and research. And then I, I kind of, um, provide the title of remapping as uh, today's topic uh, to kind of uh, uh, provide a new view, or I would say uh, a, a new kind of vision, uh, what I have seen uh, the artists in residence program, or I would say, uh, how can artists or, or how can art associate with uh, the contemporary society. So uh, here will be my sharing. I hope you would like it. And I would also very much looking forward that you can, you know, provide uh, all kinds of your practice or uh, or your questions. Uh, I mean, after, after, uh, after I share uh, all the stories that I have, um, I have, uh, I have experienced. Okay, so can we uh, have our yes? Okay, and that's me. You can uh, see that I um, I'm currently in a more more and more institutionalized place, but uh, I would definitely uh, remember, and I would say that I benefit a lot uh, from the artist in residency uh, initiated because um, that that's a very uh very valuable and uh that's a very important kind of um uh, platform for an arts administrator to um to to engage with um, all sorts of create creative community not only the creator but also you will see also facilitator and also the the participants with uh, different identity so can we have next slide, please? Maybe next. Next, please. Okay. Uh, well, I would like to start with um, with with uh, kind of defining uh, what do we mean by artist in residency program? Why do we need artist in residency? And I, 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 I do believe that uh, every kind of institution, or, or, or especially cultural institution, that in, in different society actually they would they would kind of have different identity. But uh, the artist in residency program in Taiwan, I don't know what would be the story in Malaysia, but in Taiwan, uh, it's actually a, a kind of top-down cultural policy, which. Uh, which has has been learned from uh, from from the West as a kind of 
artist supporting system and as a kind of um, reuse of the disused space or as a kind of regeneration of uh, of a city. So I would talk about uh, all the all, all this kind of uh, development that I have been experienced in my job well 10 years ago. Okay, so uh, for the uh, International Association of Artists in Residency Program, uh, which is based in in United States, uh, it's called Alliance for uh, Alliance of Artists Community. It 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 kind of provides a uh, definition for artist residency. It says that traditionally, uh, traditionally uh, we would say that um, uh, I so. We would we would take the artist in residency uh, uh, program as uh, isolated retreat for solitary artists. So, which means that uh, you would sense a kind of uh, very romantic, uh, ro rom romantic feeling when we firstly talk about. Um, artists in residency place, which is kind of providing time and space for uh, for artists to live their own daily routine and to kind of concentrate and work on their art. But uh, so today, uh, can we have ne next slide, please? So today, I would uh, I would like to base on uh, well, well, I would like to start from that 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 kind of very traditional definition that the AAC uh, provided uh, to structure my talk uh, with this uh, uh, three circles. Uh, but but for the three circles, I would kind of divide it in two parts. Uh, first of all, the the, by, by definition, artists in residence place is about time and space, as what AAC has said that, uh, you know, a, a center would provide that, you know, dwelling place and studio uh, for a period of time for the creator, for artists of, 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 uh, of, uh, of different practice uh, to, to kind of do their project. But in addition to that, uh, the artist is not only, uh, you know, in a, in a solitary uh, kind of ad, uh, situation. Some of the uh, artists in residency uh, initiative they 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 they, they, uh, they are operating well they 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 have to operate in a kind of institutionalized uh, method. And which means that then the artist they would have to encounter with say uh, the the uh, the art the art professionalist, uh, the, the, the the art ad ad administrators, art managers from from uh, the institution. But also some of the uh, artists in residency center they are actually in a very sensitive place of of uh, of city, and and so I would like to not only speak about the physically kind of existence of uh, an artist residency program. I would also uh, love to cover what I what I think that's the most valuable uh, uh, kind of components of. Um, of artists in residency program, I would call it uh, the people and the community. So I will start from the next slides, from the people to community. And my inquiry would be, uh, you know, who's associate uh, with artists in residency program and why? And here will be some of the story that I wish to share with you. Can I can we have the next slide, please? 
Artists in Residency Initiative. Uh, yes, <clears throat> of course, it's um, it's a it's a it's a kind of place uh, for artists. Uh, in uh, that that you have seen from from the picture, uh, that's the Taipei Artist Village that's situated in the very center uh, of Taipei City, and uh, which is also uh, the first artist in re residency center in uh, Taipei. Although not 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 in Taiwan, because in Taiwan, um, a, a a artist in residency center uh, in Taichung, in central part of Taiwan, uh, is it, it's actually kind of established half half year earlier than uh, Taipei Artist Village. So for Taipei Artist Village, uh, the very first kind of uh, signature is uh, it's an international program. As I have shared with you that. Uh, Artists in residency program in Tai in Tai in Taiwan is actually a top down uh, cultural policy. So as a kind of international ex cultural exchange program, uh, cultural exchange platform and cultural exchange program. So it, it's it's uh it's it's very easy to imagine that uh, the uh, the artists in residency program in Taipei we would uh, we would accept the international artists uh, from abroad. But how uh, several ways uh, from reciprocal uh, program. For example, uh, when I was the artistic director in uh, in in uh, in Air Taipei uh, Artists in Residence Artists in Residence uh, Initiative Taipei, uh, I have uh, uh, I have established several exchange with uh, with uh, 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 friends uh, and with with British Council and even with the uh, Tokyo city government and which means that uh, we will send uh, one of one of the select selected artists Taiwanese artists to um, to uh, uh, abroad to their their uh, their 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 center and uh, they would also select and sponsor one of the international artists to uh, Taipei, and when, when that happened, uh, the the situation would more likely to be that um, uh, each of the uh, artists in residence center we would kind of have have our own artistic choice, and to choose a bit to to select uh, a show list, and then provide it to. Uh, to the collaborate uh, institution for their selection, and uh, so that's not only a um, that's not only an uh, how to say a a very um, well that that's not only the artist uh, exchange or artist studio exchange, but also the two institutions that they are uh, kind of communicate uh, through the the project that the the the, the residential artists they present and also through the selection of the artistic project and which means that uh, it's not on, only choosing you know um, which artist is good or bad it's not about the the good bad that kind of choice but it's about is it a project that's appropriate or suitable for situation of of the center at this moment so uh, uh so it's 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 about that uh the the, the artists in the, uh the the the, the arts initiated they are not only thinking they are of course they are thinking of how to nourish uh, uh and how to support uh the 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 artist um, kind of project but also they are thinking how to utilize the artist project as a kind of catalyst for change or for uh, a kind of relational development so uh, so we would have the uh, the the exchange program with um, international agency, and next next slide please. And we would also uh, kind of provide 
uh, the the traveling grant for local artists, for Taiwanese artists to go abroad to kind of uh, to kind of uh, uh, to explore uh, the the globe, but also sometimes as what I what I have presented, if it is with a kind of exchange program, they are also have an identity of cultural ambassador. So it's about arts, and sometimes it's about diplomacy. It's about cultural diplomacy. Okay, so next slide, please. And uh, in in well in in, in contemporary. Uh, Museum, especially in our museum, we uh, we talk a, a lot about uh, uh, equity, uh, museum equity, and we talk about inclusion. And uh, it's about ten years ago uh, when I was director at the Treasure Hill Artist Village. Uh, it's well, Treasure Treasure Hill Artist Village. Uh, well, sort of by nature, uh, it's it. It's not only a place that's uh, uh, supporting uh, artistic project. It's it's also kind of encouraging artists to have a uh, different kind of, of social engagement. And uh, the other kind of statement for Treasure Hill Artist Village when I was uh, directing the program, uh, I was also kind of advocate that uh, you know everyone can be artist. So at that moment, uh, I I have a, a very very special opportunity to work with um, uh, well to to work with someone who's uh, with physical dis disable, and uh, at that time he uh, I mean she at that time she she is not uh, very well she's not she's only uh, she's just started to 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 kind of uh, do art. And at that time, he was taking the illustration uh, uh, course. But I was touched by uh, one of the character uh, uh, kind of uh, developed by her. Uh, she she designed a rabbit because that that year was the year of rabbit, and she uh, designed a rabbit, but but a rabbit only with with single ear. And uh, she kind of proposed that uh, the e the ear with uh, I mean the the rabbit with single ear can she uh, use that icon to participate in the Lantern Festival, which is uh, part of uh, Chinese New Year celebration in in, in Taiwan, uh, as one of icon. And she she said that she she wished to. Um, uh, Develop a, an, an art project and and also um, make a very special kind of lantern uh, for the for the for the participant uh, to to kind of uh, think differently in in this specific in 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 uh, in this festival. And I uh, I would say I, I only uh, study from uh, I, well we, we we only study from a very small small space which you can see from the slide. Uh, from a, from a small space, I thought that uh, she would only you know probably have some talk, and uh, show some of uh, her her her, her uh, illustration uh, and print it on paper with all the participants. But because uh, um, she has seen, she has seen uh, some some other artists at the same time in Treasure Hill Artist Village that they they have different kind of uh, creation that they, uh, they, uh, she has seen their their performance, their uh, painting, or even their sculpture. All of a sudden, she was kind of being inspired. So she started to paint on the wall. This is the very first uh, sort of wall painting of her. Uh, but now, uh, like ten years later, uh, well, yes, she she got more eared. Uh, she told me that she she has um, at, at at that time uh, in Treasure Hill, she only had one ear deaf, so she can still uh, hear the wall. 
hear what what people said from the other ear, uh, uh, with the other ear. But uh, now she uh, she is uh, I mean both of her her ears are all out kind of that. So uh, I would have a very short clip for you uh, to see what's her current uh, kind of uh, development. And uh, well, that's that's kind of reflection when 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 I when I'm currently engaged engaged in a lot of uh, art museum uh, kind of uh, inclusive policy uh, that that I would always uh, think of her. All right. Uh, so as Feng Wei has been inspired uh, by the other residential artists uh, at, at, at her time. Uh, so that's, that's also addressed uh, the kind of the power, the, the collective power of an uh, artist in residency program. But as a uh, collective practice uh, in art, uh, well, we can trace it back to uh, to last century, to 20th century, when the avant-garde uh, art movement uh, has has begun. Uh, so in the 20th century, artists began to kind of challenge uh, the kind of authority of the art, the the art, uh, how to say, the art object. And uh, the kind of artistic uh, endeavor has focused on process, interaction, not only the product, not only the physically and product. And so, uh, so this kind of trend in art is also merged with a long history of collective uh, organizing uh, in social, political, and economic realms, and many artists now choose to center their artistic practice around relationship building and political organizing rather than object making. I guess that's also something that would uh, kind of uh, add up, uh, add up uh, the contemporary artists in residency, uh, artists in residency initiative, uh, that the collaboration with each other and with professionals from other fields uh, in 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 diverse and innovative ways. That's also uh, the the very important kind of uh, 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 meaning for uh, for attend an artist in residency program. So, in addition to the very traditionally art, uh, the, uh, the art field, sculptor, uh, artist, painter, uh, print, printmaker, uh, gradually we also accept uh, designers. And the designer is, is not only the, de the, the graphic designer, and we would also include a lot, lot, a lot of uh, social project. Uh, Design, so, social design, uh, so that would a lot of uh, social design project that would uh, that would be uh, organized uh, to utilize the the resources provided by the artists in residency initiative, and uh, so the collective would also open up uh, its possibility to performing arts, and for the performing arts, because um, performing, performing arts is more complicated. Uh, so at that time, the the, the artist in residency initiative, uh, with the hope of host performing arts, we have to collaborate with other institutions, for example, theater. So that kind of collaboration is not only uh, in between the residential artists in the artist center, uh, in the artist in residence center, but also kind of push. Uh, the artists in, in residence initiated to to go out of to to go uh, to, to to kind of push the the border to go out of the gate 
to uh, hand in hand with other uh, arts and cultural uh, institution to uh, work together to to kind of co-produce uh, a and uh, to, to kind of do the co-production. Okay, so uh, next slide, you will see something uh, more in in this uh, route. For a writer uh, who who take take up the opportunity to have solitude uh, kind of uh, residence in a artist in residence center, that's a very traditional way. But if for a writer who's using uh, what he wrote uh, to collaborate with the theater uh, theater group, then that would be another story. So next slide, you will see. Uh, that kind of collaboration, you know, using uh, e using a probably a novel or a poem uh, being written by, uh, by 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 a writer, and then that will perform by a theater group and utilizing the the space uh, in the in in uh, of course, firstly would would be performed in the in the center. And then would would uh, probably touring to uh, other kind of, of institutions. And next slide. And also the performance art uh, or the public art or the art in public space. Which means that the the the, uh, the artists that they 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 might only uh they might firstly uh have their 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 project it's kind of project based uh artist but uh they 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 kind of they they need uh to have someone to facilitate them to uh to make a call for participants to find this. To, to kind of uh, find a meaningful site for the performers or to find a community of 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 uh, people uh, for the art project to grow so ne next slide please so from from a, a individual artist to a group of artists from the from the solitary practice to the collectives to the art to the arts collectives, that would that would kind of um, uh, that would kind of cover the very diverse uh, branch of the artist in residency program uh, in Taipei. And next slide. Next slide uh, would would address the other kind of uh, the, the other kind of artistic practice uh which is pretty much like a performing art group you know if uh they they would need uh the stage they would need the producer they would need a a, a, a bunch of things assembled together to kind of uh express their artistic uh idea and the perform the, the performance artist that what you have seen in this picture, uh, who is one of my favorite in Taiwan, Shi Jinghua. Uh, he has a, uh, uh, he has an, he, he had an artistic idea that he would like to major, major a, uh, a, a kind of, uh, uh, politically, uh, with, ma major a building with his body, uh, uh, to put it simple, but uh, to to major which building is actually kind of has 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 his um, a political idea of of uh, of 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 expression. Uh, originally, uh, he he submit a project said that he wished to major uh, major a building with his body, and what what would be the target? He hoped that uh, the the Taipei Artist Village can and can, can kind of negotiate uh, for for him to major the presidential hall of Taipei. And 
to to measure presidential hall uh is uh, kind of it's not only abnormal uh it's 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 very uh it's very kind of controversy uh so at that time of course we have a lot of document traveling uh between the 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 um between our center uh and and taipei artists uh, and, and and taipei cultural bureau and kind of force them to uh to have inquiry uh with the pre presidential house uh presidential office uh but apparently after all this uh communication uh it doesn't really turn out to be workable so uh Shi uh kind of back to uh well kind of kind of withdraw but still uh we wish to realize his project so he majored uh Taipei artist village's physical building with uh his body now uh can we have next please and so can we enlarge the the screen a little bit thank you okay so you'll be seeing that um uh we hire uh we 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 hire the the facility to lift her up so he he uses arm to to measure the height of the building next please next so uh after uh, I mean, uh, after kind of uh, exhausted uh, 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 the possibility of using the of of, uh, of using his arms as a measurement, uh, then then started uh, the artist statement, which means that uh, he said that he he didn't quite quite decide uh, after the arm what what kind of uh what kind of gesture would would he choose uh because uh he he told me that uh when, when once he was the the residency artist in um in 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 new york in new york city united states uh and he was with ps1 when ps1 uh was not merged by uh, moma because PS1 currently is one of the branch of uh, uh, Museum of Modern Art in New York, and and so at that time when PS1 is still a resi a, a contemporary uh, artist artist in residency uh, center, Xu Jinhua was there uh, to measure the height of the uh, 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 to the height of PS1, and uh, he kind of said that because. Uh, he thinks that PS1 is not very nice to artists. So uh, uh, his political gesture um, he decided to make is that the, the last measurement for PS1 is how many, uh, how many central finger, sorry. <laughs> how, many, how many central finger uh, is, is, is PS1? So I I was a little bit worried that what would be uh, kind of his uh, his judgment for for Taipei Artist Village, uh, but well, you can see from 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 the video. Uh, if if you if you uh, if you uh, if you uh, search uh, with the with the YouTube. Okay, next please. Next. And for for an artist uh, like Shi Jinhua, if he wished to realize his project, he he really needs uh, a lot of collaborators. He needs facilitators, and and that's all the backstage uh, that 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 uh, support uh, the 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 real life of Shi Jinhua's project, and they are all volunteers. Which means that the artists in residence center uh, didn't get the resources to pay them. Well, if if you would call uh, a lunchbox, is a kind of compensation, but that's 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 it. So uh, that's why I choose to start from uh, the kind of uh, vision of people 
uh, to talk about uh, to talk about the artist the artist in residency initiatives. Uh, that would be the main reason. The facilitators uh, is one of one of the very key person of artists in residency program. I guess that's also the very uh, same stories with a lot of non nonprofit organization. But uh, in artist village, that's especially valuable because uh, a lot of artist project, if not with all the facilitators, if they are not voluntarily to do that, actually uh, a lot of project would not be realized. So that also uh, provide a kind of opportunity for a lot of non-art uh, non, non background uh, 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 people that they have, a, uh, they have a chance to access. Uh, to contemporary art, quote unquote, or, or to the practice of art, and which also um, surprisingly uh, as a as a platform of nourishing uh, a, a lot of artists uh, in the future. So I would I would I would address it if I still have time later. Can we have ne next slide, please? So they are behind stage, and there are a bunch of them. Uh, well, just for your information, that uh, uh, often a uh, artist artist in residence initiative, the office of it is with very small staff, and uh, e even though the moderator in the very beginning uh, kind of talk about a uh, the three centers in a city, but. Can you believe um, I I only have a office of no more than ten full timer. Ten full timer is is the best, you know. Uh, probably in in Taipei Artist Village we have three or four. Uh, in Treasure Hill because it's it's bigger and it's newer, so it has um five or six. And in Grass Mountain, we always only have one person in the mountain. So it's not with all these facilitators, I would, I, well, I can't imagine how, how the energy of a center can be uh, kind of be evolved. Okay, can I have next slide, please? So you will see them uh, from very, very, uh, well, well, I would, I would, I, I would see their uh, kind of, uh, I will see them from different kind of uh, project uh, in in different places. Next, next slide. And some of them are coming. Uh, we say uh, with the dream of making arts. Some of them are uh, are with an intention of learning something. But some of them, as you have seen, they are providing their skills. They are providing their in their, their valuable skills, which that uh, well cannot be afforded by uh, the the artists in re in, in residency initiatives. So uh, from all these people, and uh, to to some of the uh, program that. Uh, that's 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 not only the individual, uh, but also the, uh, but 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 also with the community. So ne next slide. Uh, for some of the uh, artists in residence initiative, uh, they are not in a abandoned place. As uh, as I have a. Uh, I have introduced in uh, in in the in the in the previous case that Taipei Artist Village is a reuse of disused space, and originally it's it's uh, it's 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 going to be uh, kind of being uh, being 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 demolished, but uh, to to reserve it uh, for uh, for for artistic purpose. 
and convert it to a artistic residency center will make a very beautiful uh, story. But some of the center is actually uh, it, it's actually not not like that. Uh, for example, the the Treasure Hill Artist Village. It's actually uh, a uh, well, it, it's originally a uh, village, and it's a village with uh, with with a lot of memory, uh, with a community of residents, and uh, and and for the for the uh, for the uh, for the Treasure Hill Artist Village, and you will be seeing that it's actually full of um, immigrants and uh, full of uh, well. A, a lot of immigrants from the rural village. And next, please. And they they have their uh, uh, uh kind of uh well they they have their 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 originally uh original ritual, but uh probably for for the uh for the purpose of uh uh. uh redevelopment of the place so some of the uh some of the 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 very uh, the very important kind of connection uh between people uh it's it's actually uh, uh kind of uh uh well was well, started to 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 uh to to be uh to 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 to, to, to be lost ne next please so for the Treasure Hill Artist Village, uh, it's it's a it's a totally different uh, story. Uh, 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 that uh, I mean, it's a totally different story with the Taipei Artist Village because um, uh, Treasure Hill Artist Village is a place uh, full of residents, but the the resident. Uh, they well, if according to the 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 kind of uh, uh, city governance, that they are they have different uh, they they have different status. Uh, some of the some of the uh, residents that they uh, well they are uh, they they have legal they have, they have legal status, but some of the residents that uh, you know. With the development of the whole city, uh, they they might not uh, have the chance to acquire the legal status uh, of staying in the house. Instead, they are squatting. Next, please. And well, uh, interesting enough that. Uh, Chejo Hill Artist Village is not only full of uh, residents. It's not only the village for people. It's only it's also a village for for gods. Uh, it, it has one of the uh, uh, just, it has one of one of the uh, the most historical temple uh, in in Taipei City. Next, please. And not only God, but also with some of the people who has gone. So it's a it's a village, uh, you know, full of, uh, well, full of different different components of quote unquote people, living people, dead people, and God. Okay, and with all this bunch of uh, texture. Next, please. Oh, okay. Not, and not only people, but also uh, life of the people, and life of the people also uh, involved with uh, different kind of living things, their pets, and some of the animals that uh, they feed to support their their life. And next, so uh, the squatters. And the originally resident, and and uh, if you if you read on the document, some of the residents they are, uh, they are from the military. They are they are retired from the military, 
so uh, and and some of the uh, some of the members of the of the village uh, they are they are the the, the, the more marginalized uh, 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 citizens that um, that they are kind of uh, you know earning a life in 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 the city next. So this very uh, uh, complicated texture uh, kind of kind of build up a uh, a very very uh, special community, and 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 this community is is also the the very important uh, kind of foundation for uh, development of a uh, of Treasure Hill Artist Village. So that's why, next please. So that's why uh, I would start from people, the kind of context of um, uh, people and community rather than time and space. Cause um, uh, for the lesson that we have learned from the establishment of uh, Taipei, uh, of, Taipei uh, of Treasure Hill Artist Village, uh, it's 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 actually a kind of um, very I, I would say uh, very fruitful uh, 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 ground for the artists to really really uh, step into uh, to to step into a kind of resi social resistance. And that kind of social resistance is not only exists in their own arts project, but it's in uh, kind of the practice. So uh, that that uh, well, that that kind of identify uh, Treasure Hill Artist Village a very special kind of spirit to develop socially engaged art. Can I have next, please? And uh, as I have tried to uh, address that, um, well, uh, the the community, I mean, from people to community and the very diverse uh, uh, group of, of people uh, which mingle together and kind of, uh, 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 kind of make a very different, uh, Different kind of foundation for, uh, for 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 this specific artist in resident re, artist in resident center to develop. Uh, one of the the one of the most headache or one of one of the most con conver conversial uh, 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 topic would be is artist replacing the original resident. Or the artist is trying to uh, to find a new new interpretation for local life, uh, or the artist and and uh, sorry for uh, not mentioning earlier that Treasure Hill Artist uh, Village is not only uh, is not only reserve the space for artistic. Uh, uh, creation uh, for 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 artists to reside in, uh, Treasure Hill Artist Village is also reserved the the uh, some of the some of the family that's original that that's originally reside in uh, in the place. So uh, that kind of tension for the new residents, the artist, and all residents, the community. Uh, becomes a kind of new topic. So, uh, well, then you will be seeing a a very small uh, a very small clip that's addressing that kind of tension uh, and addressing a very old man um, whose name is Ambei Bei. Uh, Ambei Bei uh, was very angry about that kind of transition. And who is she ang uh, I mean, who is she angry? Uh, who, who is he angry about? Uh, is it about 
that uh, he has to pay rent to the government? Or is it about that his uh, living place, his home, uh, has been converted into a kind of artist zoo, you know, because because with with the uh, with artist village, uh, which means that a, a lot of people will come in for different purpose. For example, uh, as I have as I I have addressed earlier, the facilitator, the visitor, and the artist themselves or their their collaborator. That's all bothered uh, the original uh, community person a lot. So Ambebe uh, would start a day with a kind of ritual. He would knock on every, uh, every studio's window and to say something, uh, to say something angrily. But because uh, at the very beginning, the, the Treasure Hill Artist Village uh, almost served as the international platform for, uh, for, for artists from abroad. So a lot of artists, uh, they, they have very different uh, kind of feeling uh, than what, what, what we as a, as a, as a governor of, of that place and, and as a local artist. That's what I am trying to show in the clip uh, for you that uh, a, uh, a a a a choreographer and dancer uh, from United States, uh, Isaac, uh, how he in, how he interpret uh, that kind of experience, that kind of tension, and and trans, trans, transfer it into a uh, dance. Uh, production. That's part of the production, and uh, Isaac also uh, kind of make an installation uh, in in one of the the uh, exhibition room uh, about uh, kind of documenting uh, that kind of interaction between the artists and uh, the community people. Uh, can I have next slide, please? Next slide. Yes. Okay. Uh, so yes, some of the artists they 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 came to the artists in residency initiative with their project. But sometimes uh pretty much like uh what I what I have presented the Feng Wei, uh the 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 illustrator who who made uh who create the single ear rabbit. She didn't expect uh what what she would encounter uh, in 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 the artist center uh, in in the artist residency center, but uh, but but when 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 she was here, she was kind of being opened up uh, her 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 eyes and opened up her creative horizon, and uh, that's pretty much like Isaac. She didn't. I mean, he didn't come. Uh, to 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 create uh, that kind of uh, dance piece, she's a uh, modern dance choreographer, and she, I mean, he 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 developed a lot of site specific uh, performance. So he is also uh, kind of not only opened up to what what uh, space. Uh, uh, provide uh, for him, but also uh, the most tension and the the most uh, kind of uh, uh, the the most direct feeling is um, what 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 he uh, kind of uh, experienced daily and and that's what what uh, that's why he uh, decided to uh, to to call the anger of Ambebe a, a dance piece. So the complex of the uh, of the people uh, from from the artist to community people and to the facilitator to the volunteer and even to the visitor 
Or well, a bunch of uh, facilitator is is actually from institution like like, like me myself, and also uh, a lot of people who's uh, who's you know uh, who's our uh, uh, supervisor like the the cultural uh, office of uh, of the city government. That different layer of um, of of relationship and and that kind of mixture of uh, of people to community uh, is is one of the most uh, uh, one of the most valuable uh, element that I would like to adjust um, and uh, for the for for the artist in residency initiative. But also that would be one of the most challenging uh, part. For uh, for governing a uh, place like Chidu Hill Artist Village. Okay, can I have ne next slide, please? Next, please. Okay, uh, and well, uh, for Chidu Hill Artist Village, some some uh, so, some something com comes up. Uh, that's with all this mix. With all this mixture of uh, the people and community, uh, the governments are also trying to think of, uh, uh, trying trying to urge uh, the the the, man, the management think, uh, team to think of some uh, uh, some some operating model. So uh, they ask us to uh, cover some of the studios uh for the for the residents of of some uh tourist for tourists to have very short stay and to experience that kind of cultural atmosphere that's one of the program that the government urge uh the the the, the managing team to do uh but uh because i have been living for 10 years but i as i was told uh, it's actually a program that would probably be a little bit too too absurd for um, for some of the tourists. Uh, that's a very complicated uh, uh, reason. But uh, for a um, uh, well, for for a uh, program like Treasure Hill Artist Village, uh, the operating model and the the kind of very different uh, 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 go governance wheel. And policy that's it that's actually influence uh, its development a lot. And next would be uh, one of the production that I uh, well I I I kind of love love best uh, when I was seeing uh, Treasure Hill as the artistic director. And again, that's that's all done by volunteers. But uh, you know, as people who love to sing, and sing is like uh, one part of their their body to 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 kind of to to express their their feeling. But uh, how to use that kind of very uh, direct feeling from a, a person and mapping it to uh, the the landscape, and how to choose. A uh, different song that they 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 like, and also would would they and and also kind of uh, e express the sight. So it's it's that 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 uh, well uh, in the later uh, uh, three minute also a uh, 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 video clip. What I wish you to uh, to experience is um, uh, to experience and to imagine is is again the intertwining uh kind of people's relationship and also kind of kind of mapping that kind of relationship uh to the love of a place or to to the understanding of a history okay and then uh i will move to uh the very essential part of uh, the uh, artistic residency initiative which you would uh, talk about uh the space and time and uh, the space, especially for uh, the artist in residency uh, program in Taipei, because um, that's actually uh, 
sort of uh, 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 the the Taipei City government hired the uh, a NGO uh, Taipei City uh, Taipei Cultural Foundation uh, as a collaborator to manage the program. So uh, uh, as some of the program I have addressed that you will be seeing that it's actually with a very strong intention of policy. Uh, so for the space, it's not only uh, using a space. But some, sometimes more pro progressively, uh, it has a responsibility of um, regeneration and sometimes for the marketing of our city. Can I have next slide, please? Let's uh, kind of uh, give you an idea of, uh, uh, you know, uh, the, the location of three artists' village, uh, one in the mountain. You will be seeing uh, in, in the in uh, in the first photo of the slides, and then uh, second would be the Taipei Artist Village, and then will be the Treasure Hill Artist Village. And next slide, you will be seeing uh, their different time of establishment. And uh, <clears throat> Grass 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 Hill uh, Mountain Artist Village, uh, they. The city government only hand hand over to the to uh the, to 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 our foundation for a very short period of time uh because after a uh a, a very brief uh accident uh in sort of in the transition period of uh, finding one operator to another and we are converting the place which used to be the Shanghai uh uh. Mr. Chiang Kai She's uh, re, re, uh, Mr. Chiang Kai She's residency. Uh, so uh, we only use that space for a very short time, but uh, uh, with the mission to keep it vivid. And the Taipei, the, the Taipei City government found uh, probably you know uh, uh, kind of uh, invite some of the artists to uh, do their project in in the in the mountain house would be a good idea. So that only uh, that only in our program for a very short short time. But Taipei Artist Village and Treasure Hill Artist Village, it's running from its establishment to uh, to now. So next slide. And then you'll be seeing uh, as the Taipei Artist Village as a kind of. Um, uh, foundation uh that when we've been hand, hand handed uh the the project of um, uh of cultural governance of Taipei uh, of Treasure Hill Artist Village we are uh trying to utilizing uh the 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 what I call the the, the artistic soft power so it's not only uh, using the construction team to rebuild a place, but we are also uh, uh, trying to engage the cre the creative thought and some of the creative project to uh, to to the place. And it's not only uh, using the very limited uh, uh, kind of residential grant. But we are collaborating with the uh, percentage for public art project of the city to develop some of the some of the more uh, significant art project. So you you will be seeing the development. Please next 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 please. So that's kind of the the uh, that's kind of the trial to use the the to uh, to collaborate with with different program of uh, of cultural bureau because uh, they use well uh, you might understand that uh, 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 well every 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 division every 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 um, Every division that every department that they would have uh, a different project and budget only 
allocate to 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 uh to a certain project but when when this project is trying to uh collaborate with other project or even other region of the same uh bureau that that actually that that actually takes a lot of effort and not not uh not uh, that, that along with if not only collaborate with uh, the cultural division but also with the some of the uh construction division or the urban development division that's that's also well uh although the same city government but they are actually uh utilizing different language so that's that's a real uh kind of cross border experience kind of beginning of the cross border experience uh for the for the uh artist in residency uh uh project next please And and that that's some of the picture that I, I I have shown before about the 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 transition period when, uh when when uh when the beginning of the artists in residency program and how the uh sort of the illegal resident that they they kick off uh, a kind of cultural resistance. Next. And and that kind of landscape. Uh, if we are using the the construction idea, uh, you know that would be just doing something very dull. But uh, we wish to have something, uh, you know, totally creative and and totally different. And and we we we, we do wish that uh, the the whole kind of landscape of the hill can be uh, can be preserved. But how to preserve the the landscape? So so which means that uh, with with this kind of idea, we are not only working. We we we, we cannot only working with the 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 conventional uh, idea of artists, the painter, the, the sculptor. We have to work with architecture or the landscape designer. So that's also a kind of a broaden. Um, how to say? broaden the feel of uh of 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 artists in residency program and and which means that we are not only working with the traditional uh artists we are also uh working with some of the uh some of the professionals that they they are probably uh used to only work working under uh some sort of consignment but now they are working to express their creative idea that would be one of the case please uh, the, the, i mean uh, on, the, on, on the screen you will be seeing is originally landscape yes next the park you know uh, when, when in park the, the 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 maintenance department that they what i wish is something uh, very easy to maintain so they have concrete uh, uh mock-ups sculpture that's not really sculpture that's only a mold and and pulling with all this uh, 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 uh cement but uh so that that's the original historical site but uh how to how to experience and how to interpret uh the the site that has been uh kind of being registered as the historical uh uh, uh treasure so that's one of the one of the one of the beginning ideas that we wish uh, to preserve the, the landscape and to interpret its um, its history, but how? Next. So one of the landscape designers uh, has been invited to be one of the uh, residential artists, and 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 she and her uh, she and her team proposed that. Uh, we should have a, a kind of confront view to the river. We should see the river, and because that's one probably one of the one of the uh, one of the spots that uh, in in Taipei City that can uh, that 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 people can uh, directly encountering with the the nature. So uh, he, she proposed to have a very big big scale of uh, redevelopment. Next, please. 
even with the redevelopment, but uh, we are also uh, urge her team to think of, you know, we wish that every step has, has well, uh, I, I was, every period of history has its step uh, uh, on the ground. So we, we, we won't, I mean, we don't want to judge that uh, the maintenance department, what they have been uh, put there, the, the cement structure is bad and, and we, we wish to re, uh, refurnish it. We, we, we hope to, uh, to kind of uh, 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 value that uh, different period of time and it's different, uh, different kind of uh, decision of uh, development. So what what we what what we also wish to reserve, uh, if, if 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 the uh, I mean if the technology uh, permit that uh, to reserve uh, some of the cement uh, uh, structure uh, of of the originally park. Next, please. So that's something uh, after the project. Next, please. It's becoming uh, a place that uh, all the pass by uh, uh, citizens that they can they can clearly see uh, the facade of the hill, and the facade of the hill has been registered as the uh, uh, cultural heritage. That's because of uh, it, it address a kind of process of the uh and and. Uh, well, the the developer that cope with the development of the city. Next, please. And it also uh, kind of uh, provide a stage. So it's not only his in the daylight. It might address a historical story, but uh, in the night, can it be also some sort of stage? And the stage. Uh, uh, can also kind of mount a uh, different uh, general performer. Because of the, the, the project of the artists, we have, uh, we have kind of different uh, reaching out. Next. And with this, uh, uh, take, take this project as, as an example, that uh, the artists, they are, they are using their relational uh, art project to, to reach out Different citizens in the city to to reach out different corners in in the city next, and even to be part of the city movement. Uh, it's not only uh, kind of uh, 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 experience the exotic uh, feeling, but it's trying to be local. Next, next. So that kind of project, uh, they they kind of push out the artist in residency idea to 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 the city, and it's not, and it's also kind of uh, uh, take out the, the the contemporary art practice uh, to to the to the to the different group of the people, and uh, and also raise their inquiry that, well, is it art? Uh, I saw art is sculpture, art is kind of static, uh, but I don't understand that, well, art can really uh, be, a, be a kind of fluid movement. Well, I don't, I don't, I, I can imagine I can be part of art. Next. So with this kind of practice that, uh, the the artist in residency uh, uh, initiative uh, from from reserve a place, reserve a memory uh, from the art from the artistic practice, and also reach out to kind of become a um, contemporary art education uh, kind of generator. Next, and with all this kind of project and uh, Taipei Artists Village, I mean, uh, the, the Artists in Residence Initiative 
uh, which is my team, uh, started to have the attention from uh, different different part of the the, the city government uh, at a time when when the Taipei city is is very much uh, kind of being absorbed by uh, the 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 city redevelopment, and that kind of issue. Uh, I mean, that kind of issue. How can artists respond? So the 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 uh, uh, so so we uh, we are kind of being in, invited to do a project uh, in a in a in a piece of land that's very near the Taipei Artist Village to do a uh, I, I call it uh, like like a bit like the um, the kind of soft regeneration of uh, urban place. So. Uh, the the soft urbanism uh, is also a uh, kind of new experience for uh, for artists and also for for the for the uh, for the for the city uh, uh, the, uh, for the for the city government official. Can I have next, please? Next. So we are using the uh, again the the the, the kind of artistic practice from a different genre of uh, creator and uh, to convert a place to a temporary uh, artist in residency uh, center. And in that center, we are using uh, something extraordinary, extra daily uh, as a platform to encountering different uh, group of citizens. Next. Next. Next, please. And with all this expansion and and all this kind of uh, uh, different practice, uh, what is artist in residency program, and where is artist in residency program, and well, who is artist? That's all sorts of questions that that has been raised uh, through through this period of time. So nextly, uh, I would like to enter something that would be more uh, responding to, uh, well, title of today, what like remapping. When we are talking about, uh, when we are talking about the artist residency, when we are talking about facilitator, we are talking about something, uh, some some person who do their job voluntarily. Or who who wish to to help the 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 artist to realize their project, but uh, in a project that's actually being sponsored by uh, by a steel company in in Taiwan, Donghe, uh, Donghe Steel Company. Uh, well, they 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 kick off the 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 artist residency program with the help of uh, National Endowment for the Arts in Taiwan. Uh, they, the idea is pretty much, well, the idea is pretty much easy that uh, the, 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 uh, the CEO of the company, uh, well, of course you can imagine she uh, has been a art lover for a long time. Uh, but when, when, when she was kind of manage uh, the steel company, which kind of been, uh, in a situation of declining, uh, dec declining business, uh, and so she was thinking of how how to not uh, not cutting off the size of the business, but trying to make use of um, of the resources in, in incorporate uh, to find a kind of a, a new route. So uh, so she was using. Uh, what she what she loved the art and the artist to incorporate it with uh, her her company. What can artists do for the society for a society? Um, well, uh, I might not I might not be very fair to uh, to say a word because you 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 would definitely imagine that I would. I would provide a very positive uh, answer to my inquiry, but uh, in nowadays, 
at all the practice in the East and in the West of artist, artist in residency program. And we have seen the program with roots, with foundation. And the program kind of flew it. But uh and but 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 what we uh but I would say something that's constantly uh in in the program is uh is really about uh it's really about people. It's really about uh any individual that uh you know who's uh who's utilizing the power of art. So the corporate, uh, well, it's not only corporate, but I would say that beyond our field and beyond the government field, that they are seeing the, the merit of uh, working with living artists. It's not like art museum. Art museum is utilizing the product or the, the the physical evidence that created by a living artist to show it to uh, to, to 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 make a place uh, uh, to to make people contemplate uh, or currently to to make people uh, kind of fl flushing and uh, uh, being being a generator of um, uh, of of uh, cultural tourism, but. What I am sharing today, and hopefully in the end of today's um, today's talk, uh, I would like to uh, say to to kind of uh, saying something that's that's actually uh, in addition to what we talk about the creative economy, what we called about the 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 kind of uh, creative industry. So next. I'm thinking something like the the a kind of initiative that is arts based, arts based initiative. That's a lot of sector in uh, well in different part of our, our society. They are looking forward, or they are looking into the the kind of creative uh, power uh, that can transform. Uh, their their kind of current static situation. So a lot of um, uh, well, a lot of different different uh, segment and different industry and different uh, uh, company that they are looking into the power of artist. And uh, CER is one of the program uh, internationally renowned program in in Geneva. Next. And EU, European, uh, European Union, is also kind of uh, uh, trying to 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 uh, facilitate uh, the creative power uh, of artists with the scientist. Turn is a is a is a is a. Uh, is a program. It's a very renowned program, and uh, the EU's uh, S plus T plus Arts Science plus Technology plus Arts is another trial. So next, next is um, one of the uh, one of my additional thoughts. So uh, when we are talking about uh, the the artists. In residency program, when we are talking about how it has uh, uh, successfully uh, transformed a place, when we are talking about how it has um, kind of create a new challenge or new topic for the contemporary art world, or how it has facilitated uh, the transform of an artist or an art group, or even how it has nourished uh, the viewer, the visitor. Or some emerging artist, uh, but uh, furthermore, I would like to also invite all of you to think of uh, think of what has happened, but uh, kind of uh, into a, a, a very very uh, promising 
uh, kind of future that what can art really do for our society? Probably uh, more art-based initiative would help the society to kind of transform to a more creative one. So I guess that's my sharing for today. Thank you for your uh, attention and for your listening. And I'm very much looking forward to have interaction with you. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Su, uh, for your very rich uh, content. Um, we now have a little Q&A session. We have about 15 minutes left. Um, there is this one audience of us uh, who posted a question here for Dr. Su. Um, may Dr. Su further explain how artists find new interpretation of local lives through the mode of art in residence? Okay, uh, well, uh, when we are, well, that, that's kind of back to our uh, uh, original definition of artists in residency program, which means that uh, we will provide an opportunity for artists to get out of their um, ordinary life, their daily life kind of routine. Uh, so when they, they are, they are Sorry, okay. I think we yeah. have a connection problem. Yeah, I think there are some technical problem connection. Okay, so, so yeah. we, 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 yeah. we are okay now. Yeah, okay, uh, uh, thank you for the question. And uh, so for artists, yes, they, they need to get out of their routine. And for a local people, they need to, they, they need some someone to see the place differently. And and sort of a different view. Uh, it's not based on, uh, you know, it's, it's not basic, based, based on a kind of judgment, but based on uh, a basic respection and a really involvement of, um, of a person. So, uh, so when, and, and, and of course, if sometimes, uh, the, the 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 local community, if they can be part of the project, I think that would also that would that would especially open up um, op open up their thoughts and kind of provide a new vision for their uh, daily routine. Yeah, I think it does come down to like because a lot of time when we we are in touch with art, uh, it's a lot of end product presentation. But artists in residence, it's more like a process based and ongoing interaction, and and it's it's a lot of relationship building these days rather than in the olden days where a lot of visual art based or, or installation based that we, you know, artists put up a, a sort of artwork and people could come and admire the, the, the art. But these days, I think this revolution of artists in residence were going into moving into more uh, engagement and, and how, you know, communication and and community building the, the sort of approach, it's, it's actually transformed people's life because when when the strangers or people who do not live in the area they come in they see with fresh eyes you know certain things we actually see daily we don't feel is anything special but someone that's new that comes in usually that will provide some sort of new perspectives i think in in relation to that um in in comparison to what we spoke a lot about uh, product based measures uh, running an arts in residence program or a platform, maybe you could share with us um, how how do we actually justify success if there is not an end product 
in the picture. So is there any any options we we measure success in such a way? Thank you for uh, for for providing me with a uh, a opportunity to say that. Uh, then I would say the response of people, because um, when when you are talking about success of a, pro, of a production uh, for a performance, you would say, well, what's what's his, what's the sales of the tickets, and you and 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 if you are saying a an expression how to measure is success, you would you would say, is there a lie? Uh, how long is a lie? But for a residency. Uh, program yes, it's it's dif it's difficult and because most of it is um, nonprofit, so I would I would say uh, so so that that's probably why I choose to start from from uh, from my presentation, uh, and I also put a lot of effort on presenting how the uh, artist in residence program interact with the uh, with the community and with different different kind, different gender of people, and they come to the center with different in intention. Yeah. So as, as we can see from all different examples that you provided, there, there are many stakeholders coming in into a picture when we when we organize some sort of artist in residence. And um, of course, I'm sure all different stakeholders, they have different expectations. So it is. This is this is a lot uh, of being being the manager of this whole program, uh, the art administrator. It's it's really an art of balancing. Yeah. So um, in your experience or in your opinion, um, what is most challenging in this process of organizing artists in residence? And also, do you have any advice for those who are currently pursuing similar effort? Because we do, we do see like in in especially in different towns across maybe not only across Malaysia but in smaller towns across the globe. I think there, there is this initiative, a, a lot of initiatives, people trying to rejuvenate um, a, a city through this kind of arts residence program. So um, uh, in two parts, I think this question. So what do you find most challenging, and do you have any advice? Okay, and uh, for for myself, because uh, I start from art, I didn't start from the city management. So my my the most essential thing for me is do not forget where you start. Uh, yes, sometimes uh, it's 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 really difficult uh, difficult to find a balance when, uh, you know, especially for you know some of the artists they, they are. They are extremely demanding, demanding for uh, demanding for everything, and they even using uh, what has been uh, sort of in, in in art museum or or in theater. They they even using that kind of standard to de to, to to demand you. Uh, so I would say it's it's really hard for an arts manager. You know, if you sort of you know give up. Uh, in in the in the process because it's too difficult then uh yeah then 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 that would be a shame so uh i'm that kind of person that i would i would i would always kind of weeping <laughs> weeping myself uh say that yeah you know do remember where does the art from uh, uh i mean I mean, where does it stop from? Where, what, where is the art from? And um, what's the very first part that uh, sort of moved me to into this project? But mm -hmm. the process is always headaching. I mean, you know, Eugene, <laughs> and um, especially it's, it's, it's almost impossible to find a balance. I mean, to find a balance point and it's, People are always kind of in a uh, in a very terrible situation, uh, you know, quarrel and uh, you name it. But <laughs> I would I would say that there is no one recipe for uh, mm -hmm. for all the different situation. But my recipe is that I would definitely always reminding myself why do I do this. Mm 
-hmm. And uh, sort of my starting point is that some art project moved me. And uh, no better is from the social, uh, is from the social purpose or is from, you know, something probably very, very, very personal, probably because the charisma of the artist. Mm -hmm. But yeah, they, they, well, they, they, they always count. So do remember where you start and try to be, yes, to be flexible. And mm -hmm. that kind of, um, it, well, that kind of, uh, to, to manage an institution with kind of, uh, to, uh, with an agile institution, I think I, I, I would definitely know that's almost impossible. And all the employees in the team, they would be, they would be totally in a nightmare. But, uh, I would say that, uh, for, for arts and for arts administrator, why you choose to be the arts administrator but not bank administrator, then well, you should love it. You should find a way to live with it. And it's always complicated. But uh no one recipe, the only recipe is it exists in yourself. And you have to you have to find it out. But yeah. I am yeah. but yeah. I would say that uh that kind of uh, the that kind of suffering process, uh, I do find some 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 uh, something to cure is that if you if you can uh, find a community, so that that's why I uh, I, I kind of uh, using the two international associations as my uh, my kicker point. Although due to the time, I didn't quite uh, have, have 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 time to read them through, but uh, find 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 a community, find a uh, sort of a group. Mm -hmm. To mm -hmm. uh, to always have to have dialogue and and have workshop, uh, professional kind of advanced workshop. I think that would that would definitely uh, uh, gas you up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do agree. Mm -hmm. I think this um, peer to peer encouragement through networks that is you know you meet people Indeed. who uh, who are working similarly in in the field that conversation really does actually help. Yeah, maybe one right. last question, um, because okay. I guess there is quite a lot of artists uh, listening to this talk and maybe they're curious um, if an artist, maybe you. this is different from every artist in residence program, but maybe uh, uh, general tips from you uh, as an organizer. So if an artist who would like to apply to an artist in residence program, what specifically they should highlight in an application? Okay. Uh, I, would, I would say, firstly, read through what, what the program inquire. Uh, some of the program that they are hoping uh, hoping to have a, uh, a a very genuine artistic uh, kind of uh, 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 attribute, but some of the program that they wish you uh, to to have some strategy and to localize your project. So I would say that uh, do understand uh, the target that you are you are intend to apply, uh, and um, if if so, it's not only Great, great. I mean, it's uh, it's not only uh, trying to get opportunity for yourself to develop your project, but but some sometimes just step up your boots and uh, you know seeing from different different point of view to see uh, what would the local uh, community and how do they accommodate uh, your project and you. Right. Okay, so thank you very much uh, for Dr. Su today for your very insightful sharing. Uh, not only share with us about the role of artists in residence from perspectives of artists, creators, researchers, and also public, but also connecting the idea of artists in residence to place making and, and even branding. So thank you very much for your time. Thank you everyone for following us today. So thank you very much for joining today and uh, wishing you a wonderful weekend.